What is up gamers, Enforcer5150 here, and I am back to go ahead and do some benchmarking on Rainbow Six Extraction. I've been having a lot of fun with it, with Raven and my wife a little bit. Uh, she really doesn't like it that much, but that's all right. Um, but we are just gonna do the benchmarks in here because I noticed that it did have a benchmarking tool and I have not done one of those videos in a while. So let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, so we are running on the RTX 2080 Ti with the i9-10900K and 32 gigabytes of uh, DDR4 running. I think it's at 3200 megahertz. So it's a little bit lower than some of the ones that I could be running with this system, but uh, I've had it for a while and I've kept it. Good RAM is good RAM and it's not gonna affect me too much. But anyway, so our settings here is on obviously in uh, 1440p. The only thing that we are going to be changing is DLSS. We will be using the highest quality that the preset has, so the ultra sets. So let's go ahead and run some of these benchmarks. All right, so we do have audio. We have the auto quality, balance, performance, and ultra performance on here. The only reason why they do look a little bit different is because they I had them so synced up that you couldn't tell the difference. So I just hinted the exposure just a tad in between them so you can tell um as you can see uh each one of these are running very well uh everything is over 100, 100 frames per second obviously on the ultra performance we're at the closest to 240 frames per second uh the balance is definitely you know decent but it's not really giving us that much more if you look at the auto and then the balance i mean the quality is almost the same and we're gonna go we're gonna take a look at the all this without uh dlss on as well but uh you know we are getting good frames per second I, if i was playing like i think what i'm going to do after doing these tests today i think i'm gonna be sticking with you know either the quality or balance because the quality does look really good and i am getting a decent amount of frames per second and it just doesn't seem like i'm getting all i can uh you know see out of it uh like in a game like this if i was playing you know siege i would probably just go straight up ultra performance hands down not, not even double think about it try to get close to my 240 frames per second the 240 uh hertz that i have on this monitor but you know the difference between the two is not that much you have a little bit in the distance if you look uh in the performance that it gets a little bit fuzzy just a tad now when dlss first came out it was really really bad and i like i could not use it it was almost like you might as well just turn down your anti-aliasing and that was about it. it but it definitely has improved over time so if i want to use one of these it's going to be auto or quality i, I want to try to keep that visual aspect to it but i might even just turn it off anyway we're going to take a look at each one of these scores here in a minute but let's go ahead and look at dlss being off now here we go uh we have same settings exactly as before with no dlss at all we have the, just the regular ultra settings and you can see we do lose a lot of frames per second but there's not a huge difference in the the visual quality some of the stuff like if you look at uh lines and stuff like that more in the distance you know they're a little bit more solid but they're not that much better so when you're you know deciding if you want to use dlss or not i definitely would suggest you know go ahead and use it like the uh stairs in the back the railings and with DLSS, you can start seeing it have a little bit of fringe to it, a little bit of the, uh, the anti-aliasing to it. And that's, I mean, unless it's like really bad, it really doesn't bother me that much. Stuff like CSGO or, you know, Counter-Strike uh, uh, Source, the original, uh, I, they used to bother me if it was too low. And it kind of looked like there was something like running across each one of the, uh, you know, railings or lines. It would just kind of distract me more than anything you know i think something was over there if it was off into the like the side but uh this is not bad at all like i like i said dls has come a long way um the game runs fine without dlss on the 2080 ti obviously the 2080 ti is a mo really powerful card and i do want to try this on my 2080 and my 2060 and my laptops and <laughs> i did play this on my uh rtx 3060 laptop a little bit but not enough yet that i want to uh you know put a benchmark out for it maybe we will do that here soon 
but I am hoping that they have a few updates, um, you know, some driver updates, because I, I do think they can do better with uh, the DLSS and this game yet. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege uh, had a lot of time to it, but this, you know, it's the same engine, but you have to remember they have to, you know, still retexturize and they have to put it all into an entirely, entirely new uh, part of their system. So it, it isn't fully, fully optimized as it probably could be. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final results here. As you can see under the Ultra or the no DLSS, uh, you, you're kind of lower than all the rest of them, which we would want to expect because the DLSS should give us more performance. But if we look at the auto and the performance mode, those ones are almost identical. So I, I think the auto is kind of giving you the performance. I, I do believe, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that when you use auto, it's going to use the same thing for whatever system that you have. So it's kind of determining what kind of system you have, what would be best for you. So if you have a different system, different CPU or something like that, you may have, you know, uh, a different uh, auto that it's going to try to go to. So it's deciding that performance is probably the best one for me. So I think that's where it is landing at. Looking at auto, you know, we get a, an average of 206 frames per second, which is really good. And the performance is the 203. Quality, we get 166. Where balance, we get 185. Balance, I do, I do still think that is a decent spot to be. Ultra performance, like I said, it just starts getting too soft. Too far away like when you look, start looking further in the distance and you know, look at edges you know it starts getting way too soft and a little bit too jagged uh, for my taste uh, you can definitely you know you know tweak your other settings instead of using DLSS and you know probably bring down your GPU usage anyway uh, I think that's all we're gonna do for this video uh, like I said I haven't put one of these out for a long time and I just wanted to uh, get a, a benchmark out for y'all Anyway, as I'm a small channel, I wanted you to go ahead and take a look at the description below and all the information that I have down there. Everything that I put in there for links to uh, Amazon and everything is all stuff that I've used personally on this channel and that I personally use and have tried before. Um, there's nothing in there that's just randomly put in there. You know, from the laptops uh, to, you know, my AMD setup, my Intel setup that you know, me and my wife uses and the smaller uh, ones we use. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button and definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Y'all take care and happy gaming.